Idaho is known for its many diverse landscapes, from mountains to rivers to sand dunes. I'm going to share with you some hidden gems that make Bruno Dune State Park a diamond in the rough. Bryce, we are in front of the dunes here at Bruno Dunes State Park. What makes these dunes, though, so unique? These dunes, in particular, are the tallest single structured sand dune in all of North America. It's also unique because it's actually in the middle of the valley here. So 470 feet tall. Yeah. The U.S. Bank building in downtown Boise is about 270 feet high. So the dunes that we're looking at over our shoulder are basically two of those buildings. That's a lot of sand, Bryce. It is a lot of sand. Tell us about some of the hiking trails. I know there's lake features as well. We do have two lakes inside of our park. We do have trails around the small lake. That's one of my favorite. But for those who want to go a little bit longer, we have the six mile trail. And uh, you can also add in hiking the spine of the dune if you want to do that. Wow, okay, and then the lakes too. Are you able to fish and swim? How can you recreate around them? Fishing has gotten really popular on our lakes. They're just absolutely enormous bass and I've heard stories of bluegill bigger than your hand out there. Ooh. And are you allowed to swim in the lake too, or is it fishing only? You can swim in the lake, uh, and also too, stand up paddleboard. That's become incredibly popular here in the park. Yes. Um, what about activities on the dunes themselves? Sandboarding, yeah, yes. definitely. We do rent sandboards here at the park, but people are also uh, able to bring their own. One thing I've learned the hard way, cardboard doesn't work. Please don't bring cardboard out. It just doesn't move at all. Is there any other little hidden gem about this park itself that uh, you think our viewers should know about? One thing we're also kind of famous for is our public observatory. We have a 25-inch Dobsonian telescope that's oh, wow. encased in its own very unique one-off building. And tell me really quick about these scorpion tours. They are uh, held in conjunction with our observatory program. The unique things about scorpions is there is a chemical in their exoskeleton that makes them show up bright alien green, and it shows up that color under a black light. Wow. Bryce, where can our viewers go so they can learn more and uh, know when things are available, especially in regards to COVID? Parksandrecreation.idaho.gov. That'll be able to give them any information on our observatory programs when those are opening up in any park conditions and also just some general park information. Coming up in the News at 4, I'm going to show you some of the top things you need to know so you can plan your staycation trek to this beautiful landscape. We want to thank our partners at the Idaho Lottery for making this series possible and right now you can play and collect the Idaho State Parks Scratch Tickets, the most scenic ticket offered by the Idaho Lottery featuring gorgeous artwork from Ward Hooper and showcasing one of 11 state parks. And get this, you could even win up to $50,000. Text PARKS to 208-321-5614 to learn more or visit ktvd.com slash lottery. And remember, please play and recreate responsibly, Idaho.